Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Zebin Haira Ismail welcome back to my arabic channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and like this video today our topic is pronouns first let me explain about the pronouns A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. Example: He, she, it, they, someone, who. What is the job of a pronoun? Pronouns are used to avoid repeating the same nouns over and over again. Example: We are saying Ahmed is a teacher. Ahmed has two kids. See, every time we don't say Ahmed in each sentence. We can say Ahmed is a teacher then replace it with a pronoun. He has two kids. No need to say Ahmed has two kids. Only first we should say the name then use pronoun. This is the job of pronouns. Pronouns are called in Arabic ad-dama'ir. Pronouns can do all of the things that nouns can do. Now we are going to learn pronouns in Arabic. Pronouns are called in Arabic ad-dama'ir. In Arabic language There are two types of pronouns attached pronouns and detached pronouns attached pronouns in arabic is called dhama'irul muttasila and detached pronouns in arabic is called dhama'irul munfasila today we are focusing on dhama'irul munfasila or detached pronouns Please remember detached pronouns means separate pronouns Friends what is dhama'irul mufassila or detached pronouns Detached pronouns come in the nominative case and are not attached to any words means standing separate Dhama'irul mufassila refer to a person there are 12 detached pronouns in arabic ana meaning i nahnu meaning we huwa meaning he huma meaning both or dual hum meaning they for male Hiya meaning she. Hunna meaning they for female. Anta meaning you for male. Anti meaning you for female. Antuma meaning both of you for male and female same. antum meaning you plural but for male antunna meaning you plural but for female friends we already understood what are the dhama'irul munfasila here dhama'irul munfasila are divided into three types first person second person and third person first person in arabic is called mutakallim second person is called muhatib third person is called ghaib what is the meaning of first person example now i am talking to you here i am the first person similar to the english language in arabic also first person is i am or we are arabic first person pronouns are 
Anna and Nahnu. Anna meaning I am using for singular. Nahnu meaning we are using for plural. Next is second person. Second person refers to the speaker's audience. Example, if I am talking to my friend, my friend is a second person. I am first person. Arabic second person pronouns are anta meaning you for male, anti meaning you for female, antuma meaning both of you for male and female same, antum meaning you it is plural but for male, antunna meaning you it is plural but for female. Next is third person means we are talking about someone in his absence. That someone is third person. Example, hua meaning he, hiya meaning she, huma meaning they both, female and male same, hum meaning they, it is plural but for male, hunna meaning they, it is plural but for female. Ana meaning I am. Ana is a first person. We already explained the first person pronouns are I am and we are. I am in Arabic is called Ana. Ana is singular pronoun. We can use Ana for male and female. Example, Ana Ahmadun. I am Ahmad. Here, we used Anna for male. Next, Anna Fatima tu. I am Fatima. Here, Anna is used for female. Look at the verbal sentence. Anna uhibbul asir. I like juice. Anna ashrabul asir. I am drinking the juice. The verb started with alif. In the verbal sentence after Anna, we can see Alif in the beginning of the word. Next is Nahnu, meaning we are. Nahnu is also a first person, using for dual and plural of male and female. See the example Nahnu Muallimatani. We both are lady teachers. Nahnu muallimani. We both are male teachers. Here we use nahnu for dual male and dual female. Next, nahnu nuhibbu tadiris. While using nahnu in the verbal sentence, the verb will start with noon. Means after nahnu, we can see noon letter in the beginning of the verb. Friends, in this slide, we used nahnu in the dual form of male and female. Next is nahnu, meaning we are. In the previous slide, nahnu is used for dual form. Here, Nahnu is using for plural male and female. Example, Nahnu muallimat. We are lady teachers. Here we used Nahnu for plural female. Next, Nahnu muallimun. We are male teachers. Here we used Nahnu for plural male. Last one, Nahnu Suada. Here we used Nahnu for mixed male and female. Let us revise Anna and Nahnu. Anna Waladun. I am a boy. Anna Bintun. I am a girl. Nahnu Auladun. We are boys. Nahnu Banatun. We are girls. 
Friends, I hope you understood the first person pronouns in Arabic. Ana is using for singular male and female. Nahnu is using for male plural and female plural. Choose the correct answer. First question, dash uhibbul asir. I like juice. This is a verbal sentence. We can see alif in the beginning of the verb. Then which pronoun will come here? Yes, we can easily choose ana. Ana uhibbul asir. Next is dash nuhibbu tadris. We like teaching. Answer is nahnu because we can see in the beginning noon letter. Nahnu nuhibbu tadiris. Third one dash ahmadun. I am ahmad. I am in Arabic is ana. Ana ahmadun. Fourth one dash muallimani. We are two male teachers. Which pronoun we have to choose? Nahnu. Because we should use Nahnu for male dual form. Nahnu muallimani. Last one. Dash muallimatun. We are female teachers. Here also answer Nahnu. Nahnu is using for female plural also. Nahnu muallimatun. Match the words with Anna and Nahnu. First, Asma. We can see Alif. Then which pronoun is suitable? Anna. Anna Asma. I am hearing. Next is Naukulu. We can see in the beginning noon letter. So we can choose Nahnu. Nahnu Naukulu. We are eating. Third one. Aktub. We can see Alif in the beginning. So the answer is Ana. Ana Aktub. I am writing. Next is Nal Abu. Because of the noon, we should choose Nahnu. Nahnu Nal Abu. We are playing. Ajiri. Which first person will come here? In the beginning of the verb, we can see Alif. So, Ana will come here. Ana Ajiri. I am running. Narsum. Can you guess which pronoun will come? Ana or Nahnu? Yes, it is Nahnu. Because the verb is starting with Noon. Now we are going to explain second person pronouns. In Arabic, we are saying Dama Erul Mohotib. Already we understood Arabic pronouns are more specific than other languages. Second person indicates speaker's audience, means it is a statement about the people you are talking to. There are different ways to say you. In Arabic, most of subject pronouns have a feminine and a masculine form. Let us check. Anta meaning you for male. Anti meaning you for female. Antuma meaning both of you for male and female same. Antum meaning you, it is plural but for male. And Antunna meaning you, it is plural but for female. Here we can see Muhammad is playing football. I want to tell him directly, you are a player. Here Muhammad is second person and singular male. Then which pronoun we should use? Anta. Anta la ibun. Anta is a second person pronoun or the mirul muhatib, also using for singular male. Friends, we can understand from this slide 
anta is second person pronoun and using for male singular in this slide we can see hala is learning the lesson means she is a hard working student i want to tell hala you are a hard working student then how to say in arabic last slide we learned anta using for male singular here hala is a girl and singular remember that most of the arabic pronouns have a feminine and a masculine form so here we should write anti anti talibatun mujtahidatun means you are a hard working student we can understand from this slide anti is second person pronoun and using for female singular here two male engineers are standing in front of me i am saying to them you both are engineers remember that arabic has a dual form so the dual form is used to refer to two people plural in arabic more than two people okay then which second person pronoun we should use here here two engineers are standing in front of me so we should use antuma antuma muhandisani next here two female engineers are in front of me we already explained in the previous slide antuma using for both male and female so here should also come antuma antuma muhandisatani here many engineers are standing near to me i want to say to them you are engineers in english there is only one second person pronoun you which is used whether you are talking to one person two people or more but in arabic there are masculine and feminine versions of you in this picture we are addressing more male people then we should use antum antum muhandisun you are male engineers here antum is a second person pronoun and using for male plural see more female engineers are standing in front of me i want to tell them you are female engineers which second person pronoun we should use antunna antunna muhandisatun now we learned antunna is second person pronoun and using for female plural friends let us revise second person pronouns or muhatib anta meaning you male anti meaning you female antuma meaning both of you male and female antum meaning you it is plural but for male antunna meaning you it is plural but for female friends we learn first person pronoun and second person pronoun also next we are going to learn third person pronouns in arabic we are calling third person pronoun ghaib ghaib means absent third person means talk about someone in his absence example if i am talking about my friend who is in egypt he is not present in front of me here my friend is third person let's read the third person pronouns huwa means he using for singular male hiya means she using for singular female huma means both 
using for two male and two female hum means they using for male plural hunna means they using female plural here you can see my sir is standing in the picture i want to tell you about my sir now he is not present here he is in egypt then how i will explain about my sir first i will tell you my sir name is ahmed then we should use third person pronoun instead of his name then which pronoun i should use he he is in arabic huwa huwa misriyun he is an egyptian here huwa is the third person detached pronoun huwa means he and using for singular male here i am describing about my friend haira Haira is a hard working student. Now she is not present in front of me. How I will describe about my friend? She is a hard working student. I used here she. She means in Arabic hiya. Hiya talibatun mujtahidatun. She is a hard working student. In this sentence, where is the pronoun hiya? Here is the third person detached pronoun using for singular female. So whenever we are talking about third person singular female we should use here. In this picture my friend is a singular female. So I used here means she. Here I want to explain about two female doctors. They are my neighbors in India. Here I want to tell about them. They both are doctors. How to say in Arabic they both are doctors? In Arabic dual form is called huma. Then we should say huma tabibatani. They both are doctors. Next picture two male doctors for dual male also we should use huma huma tabibani they both are doctors huma the dual third person detached pronoun for both male and female very important that there is no dual for the first person singular remember detached pronoun in arabic is called dhamirul mufassil in this slide i want to talk about male doctors i want to tell in arabic they are male doctors which third person pronoun we should use hum hum atibba they are male doctors when you talk about three or more than three males we should use Hum. Here, hum is third person detached pronoun. Hum means they and using for masculine plural. Don't forget detached pronoun in Arabic is called dhamirul mufassila. Here, I am talking about my friends. They are female. How to say in Arabic they are my female friends? Hunna hunna sadiqatun. Here hunna is dhamirul mufassila or third person detached pronoun. Hunna means they and using for female plural. Friends, let us revise third person detached pronouns in arabic dhamirul ghaib first one huwa means he using for singular male huma means dual using for dual male and dual female hum means they using for plural male 
here means she using for singular female. Hunna means they using for plural female. Today we learned Dhamairul Mufasila or detached pronoun. Then we divided Dhamairul Mufasila into three types. First person Mutakallim. Second person Mukhatib. And third person Gaib. Okay friends, let us revise the Mairul Mufasila. Ana meaning I. Nahnu meaning we. Hua meaning he. Huma meaning they both for female and male. Hum meaning they for male. Hia meaning she. Hunna meaning they for female. Anta meaning you for male. Anti meaning you for female. Antuma meaning you both for female and male. Antum meaning you, it is plural but for male. Antunna meaning you, it is plural but for female. Friends, don't get confused between Huma and Antuma. Huma meaning they both and using for third person dual form. Antuma meaning you both and using for second person. Inshallah, next class we can learn Dhamma Irul Muttasila or attached pronouns. Friends, I hope you enjoyed my video and also check out my previous videos. Shukran.